Hello everyone, my name is Ashish and I'm a junior doctor working in the UK. In today's video, I want to clear some confusions for you and these confusions are regarding the different kind of terminologies about job posts which we have in the UK. If you want to support my work, click on the like button, share this video and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any important updates. Let's start. So the different terms about job posts in the UK can be really confusing. There are F1, F2, CD1, CD2, ST1, ST2 and lots more. And you can read about all these different kind of job posts and you can be really confused because they don't mean anything. So let's classify them into two different categories. The first one is junior level job posts. These can be further classified into foundation level jobs such as F1, F2 and sometimes F3. The second one is core level job posts such as CT1, CT2 and sometimes CT3 and ST1, ST2 if your specialty is a run through specialty. So these are all junior level job posts. The second one is the senior level job posts and these include all the specialty level job posts which are ST3 and above. The next question is that are these job posts training jobs or non-training jobs? and many doctors are confused about this as well. So a lot of people think that F1, F2 or CT1, CT2, they are just training posts, but this is not the truth. So the previous classification just tells you what kind of responsibility you will have when you're working in those jobs. These can be junior doctor level responsibilities or senior doctor level responsibilities. These titles or these terminologies do not tell you whether they are training jobs or non-training jobs. So you can apply for a training post at any of those levels, like you can apply for a F1, F2 training post or you can apply for a non-training post at a F1, F2 level. And I've made a different video talking about what is the difference between a training post and a non-training post. So you can check that out as well. So don't be confused about this. Any of those job posts can be a training post and any of those job posts can be a non-training post as well and it just depends how you have applied for them and what your priorities in life are if you want to go for training then you'll go for a training job if you don't want to go for training you'll go for a non-training job the next question is how to apply for these job posts so if you are planning to apply for a training post at any of those previously specified levels which is the foundation level core level or specialty level then you can go to oriel and you can apply for a training post at any of those levels but if you are planning to apply for a non-training job at any of those previously specified levels you can go to jobs.nhs.uk or you can go to nhsjobs.com and apply for a non-training job at any of those levels the next important question is what to do when you are new to the uk and it is your first job as a doctor in the uk so you can either apply for the official foundation program through Oriel and this can be a training F1, F2 level job. And if you miss the deadlines or if you don't want to apply in that official foundation program, then you can get a non-training job at a junior level if you are not very experienced in a specialty or you can work as a senior level doctor in any of the specialties in which you have experience and you can work as a non-trainee in those job posts. And while working as a non-trainee, you can get a crest form signed and then apply for a training post. The third thing which you can do is you can apply directly for a training post. And I do not encourage this idea because if you're new to the UK, it's a lot of difference as compared to the healthcare system in your home country. If you are working in the UK, you'll have a totally different style of working, a totally different system. You'll have to learn how things work, how to talk to people. And if you directly apply for a training post, you will have the added responsibility to complete a portfolio and do workplace based assessments on top of the struggles which you will have when you will shift from your home country's healthcare system to UK's healthcare system. So I do not increase this idea of directly apply for applying for a training post. So either go for the official foundation program or go for a non-training job post at any of those levels. And that's what I would suggest. That is it for this video. I hope that I was able to clear this confusion regarding different kind of job posts, their terminologies and where you should apply when you're first coming to the UK. 
If you want to support my work, click on the like button, share this video and subscribe to this channel. I will see you soon. Thanks a lot for watching.